Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, just came back from Eurogamer and I'm so, so ridiculously tired. But I'm just so pumped and I like, want to uh, give you guys a load of information on what's going on. Uh, by now, my Eurogamer montage video would have already been up, so it's already up on my channel, so go, uh, go check that out. I'll leave it down in the link below and all that jazz. Uh, you want to go see that? <clears throat> That's basically just like an overview of like Eurogamer and everything that happened at Eurogamer in terms of like recording wise. Um, the majority of the things that I did weren't recorded because I weren't allowed to record. Uh, allowed to record. Like when I went to play uh, Call of Duty in the YouTube like VIP section, um, I weren't allowed to actually record that. So obviously, loads of different things like VIP and uh, like press areas and stuff, I'm not allowed to record as much. So um, that, this is basically to be the video behind the scenes. So it's kind of like the things that didn't happen in video, but it actually did happen. So that's, that's what it is. Uh, so yeah, let's. Where do where do we start? Where do we start? Let's start with all the people that I met. Um, I didn't intentionally go to meet people. I just seen them on the way. Like I'd go there and be like, "See you." Okay, so I'll just uh, throw a few pictures up. Oh my god, the bag and dry. My eyes are actually quite crazy, man. Jesus. Yeah, uh, I'll throw a few pictures up. So uh, number one, my HD gamer. Matt, me and Matt have been good friends for about a year and a half now. So it's just Matt, but we've never actually met in person. So that was quite cool. Uh, small beans. And Lizzie. Lizzie actually photobombed the picture of me and Small Bears. Look. Here's a star. As well as then, I um, met Sky to Sky. I met Sky to Right, we'll come back to Sky. I met Sky to Minecraft, right there. He's an interesting fellow. Uh, I'll get back to that in a minute. Okay, as well as Sky, I met Jerome. And of course, Mitch. Uh, I don't know what uh, Mitch is Beijing Canadian, even though. Uh, I didn't know where Husky Mother Kips was. Um, Husky Mother Kips was there, but I don't know what the hell he looks like. Like, he was with Small Beans, Lizzie, Yami, and that other person. Uh, he was there, but I don't know which one was there. I was just kind of standing there going, Who the fuck are you? Which one are you? It was quite awkward, but hey ho. Um, who else did I meet? Who else did I meet? Oh! You know, uh, just Syndicate, you know, it's right there. It was actually quite crazy, uh, Syndicate had like, a, f a line like, of like 300, 400 people to meet him, and we were just like, not wait, I'm just like, not waiting in that, so we kind of just walked to the front with Sky, Sky just Minecraft and Jerome, we kind of just walked with them, just went, we're gonna go over, yeah. It's, uh, Sky and Jerome, and uh, basically they had just arrived at Eurogame, and no one knew who they were, like, the we kind of hopped over and we were like, ah, oh, man, he gave us a hug and stuff. Um, we, uh, we, we, he was like, what's this line? I was like, oh, it's, it's a sweet syndicate. He's like, what? Let's bow, put the sunglasses on, just marches. Okay, so, back to Sky. Interesting fellow. Uh, met him on the first day, he was quite cool. We hung with him for about half an hour and stuff, and uh, we were chatting for ages, and then we eventually said goodbye because we wanted to go in and play a few more games. Um, so, yeah. Eurogamer ends at 7pm, so we leave Eurogamer and go uh, go for some food. So we go back to the hotel, put our stuff in, get changed stuff. We're going to get some food. So we go to KFC, come out of KFC, we're on our way back to our hotel. Uh, my friend Danny is in front of us, and he's giving someone a hug, I'm like, the fuck? He's like, oh, look, Sky, again. Um, so basically what happened was, we were walking past, and Sky noticed us, he was like, oh, guys, the guys from before. I was like, holy shit, he, he recognised us. So he was giving Dan a hug and stuff, and that was cool. And then uh, Silent Core, who I was obviously with, he introduced himself, and was like, hey, man, I'm Silent Core, because like, they're like really good friends and stuff, so we um, introduced And then, uh, 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 what's good? Sky said, uh, so do you guys want to come to my party? I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, man, where is it? And he's like, I'm not telling you the address, because he's got his own, he's got his own, fuck it, right, okay, this is interesting. He, um, he says, yeah, come to this address, da, 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 da. We ask him, wait, what is it, like a flat or something? He goes, no, a mansion. Straight face, a mansion. I was like, yeah, okay, you've got a mansion. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so he's like, yeah, yeah, he's just going to, we were like, so what, what time do you want to stay? He's like, well, we're just going to get drinks now. Um, head up whatever you want. So we went back to the hotel and worked out how long it is. It's like eight miles away from the hotel, which is like an hour and a half walk and a 20 minute cab journey. The cab would have cost like 20 pounds and we were just like, ah, between three, I'd say, I'd, between like four of us, it would have been like five each and then like 10 back. It's, it's weird. We didn't end up going uh, because by the time we decided and stuff, by the time we got ready and stuff, it was about 1am and like we were just, we were too tired after the, the whole game. We were, we were at Eurogamer at 10am, so we were there for a good like nine hours. So we were just so tired, we just went to sleep. Um, we didn't believe that he had a mansion, 
until we met Smallbeans the next day. We were like, hey, Joel, what you doing, man? Um, and he was like, oh, we, we said to him, we were at uh, we Sky's party last night. He was like, yeah, it was wild. Sky went into a, uh, to, to a booze shop to get alcohol. He didn't just go, yeah, can I have a few beers? No, 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 no. He said, can I have that, 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 and that? Got a shit ton of drinks and just put two grand down on the table. And there, yeah, there you go. Two grand on the table, just like it's nothing. Just, there you go, man. And then got a shit ton of alcohol and took it back to his mansion with 30 rooms. It's, it's crazy. I'm gonna, I, small beans, if you watch this video for some bizarre reason, I don't even know why. Uh, I'm gonna use your picture. Um, this was one of the size of, this is the size of one of the rooms in that house. Crazy, man. Um, I kind of regret not going now, but hey ho, you only live once. Oh, I'm not gonna say that again. Okay, other well, things. Uh, I got so many bands on my wrist, it's gonna, this, well, it's focus. It's gonna press pass. Uh, Turtle Beach. Anyway, I got two press passes. I got the uh, first day one, second day one. Turtle Beach badge, ba uh, thing of the bob, and two other things. So like, they're gonna be permanently on my arm until I get in the shower in about 20 minutes, and then they're probably gonna come off. But yeah. Uh, so that's basically my recap of Eurogamer. Uh, it was it's pretty sick. I played like every game possible and every console. Um, I went to the Call of Duty VIP YouTuber area and we, we did line up on the first day to play and we lined up for about 20 minutes, half an hour and we were like, damn, I cannot do this again. So on the second day, we we spoke to ATVI Asus, um, who is the lead community uh, manager in the UK for Activision. So we went and spoke to him and he was like, yeah, yeah, man, come, come straight for this. So me and Silent Call went through. We went to the YouTuber section. There was just loads of YouTubers there. It was so scary. It, well, not scary. It's fucking freaky. I just sat down, like, playing a game of COD, and I was just like, holy shit, you, I know you. You got, like, fucking 450,000 subscribers. And I'm like, eh, play some COD. Holy shit, I know you. You're at, like, 1 million subscribers. What the fuck? It was crazy. Like, you have to just, like, just walk in. She's like, oh, look, there's Ali X. Like, Whoa, it's fair cry. It was wild. Um, but it was good because, like, I got on Call of Duty Ghost like six or seven times, um, and I got loads of gameplay with it and stuff, so um, I can answer loads of your guys' questions on like Ghost and stuff if you have any questions as well as Battlefield 3, uh, Battlefield 4, sorry, um, and loads of uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 questions. Yeah, it was also quite crazy. Uh, we met Poppy. Uh, she used to work at Jagex. She was called like Mod Poppy. Uh, she now works for whatever. I can't remember what it's called, but they make Sur uh, Surgeon Simulator, which is kind of cool. Um, I went. We went to see her because we, we all knew who she is and such. So uh, we went and said hello, and uh, she gave us a Surgeon Simulator T-shirt. I've got one upstairs, um, and a pen. It's like a. It's like a pen in the shape of a needle. And it's got like blood inside it. It's pretty sick. Uh, it's quite cool. So you guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to upload two more, maybe two or one more video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload one video specifically talking about Call of Duty Ghost and uh, my hands-on experience with it as well as like the Xbox One controller and how, how accurate it is and stuff like uh, freaking point the type. You know, but I am going to do uh, cover a lot of Ghost in that, in that video. So what I'm going to ask you guys is what questions do you want me to answer in that video? Um, I'm probably just going to talk. I like a basically overview of the um, of the game, like how I like how I um, got on with it and stuff, and how it felt. It felt pretty incredible. Uh, I'm going to explain that in a different video. So, if you have any questions about Call of Duty Ghosts? Uh, leave them in the, the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer them when I make a video tomorrow when I'm less sleepy. Because my bags, the bags under my eyes, I look like I'm about to pass out, which I most probably am. But um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So, yeah, guys, uh, you're gonna. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be there again next year. It, it's on twice next year, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna be going next year. It's gonna, it's gonna be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like the video, if you, don't forget to leave a like down there, subscribe up there, and leave a comment. Leave us some questions about Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, I might make a separate video on uh, Battlefield 4. Uh, I'm not too sure yet, but see how it goes. So, you guys, I will see you in the next video, and I'm out. Do this, stop.